Hey, my name is Stelios and I'm a painter in Long Island, New York. I wanted to share my studio space with you guys. So I'm going to do a quick tour um, with uh, my camera phone. So we'll go around to some of the different things I've been working on and let's see, pass it over this way. Um, so during the day, I'm usually painting outside from nature. Um, these are some vines in my backyard. Here is um, a section of isolated beach. Um, North Shore, Long Island, New York. Um, it's early spring. Here is um, Shoreham um, Nuclear Power Plant, another beach, some other things there. Here's an up close of a philodendron trunk, which I thought looked pretty cool. And let's see, we'll do a couple more of those um, by paintings. Okay, we've got Shoreham Beach again. Um, this way. Here's a section of beach by my house and a kale plant. Right, more beach. Right, so these were painted on location and I've also been working on a series of collage paintings. Um, generally I'll paint these late at night, um, especially with this quarantine set up this little space in the basement. So I've had some time to um, you know, to really get all the old materials out and focus, work on a few different themes. Um, some of my inspiration for these works are um, a few books I read recently. Um, this is The High Frontier by Gerard O'Neill. And um, right, any kind of science fiction movie where you saw a space station, um, they got their inspiration from this guy. Wrote this book in the, I think in the 70s. Um, another person I've been looking at is... Um, Pelo Soleri. Um, he has a really cool place in two, in um, um, in Arizona um, around Scottsdale. Um, so he has this idea of arcology and where um, just structures how we might live um, efficiently. Kind of this combination of um, dense spaces of living areas and then wide open natural areas, um, which I always kind of like that idea. This uh, proportion of nature to um, to human life. And so, right, we'll go through some of these. Um, um, also with this quarantine, I've been thinking of these ideas of, um, you know, again, from um, Gerard O'Neill, the, the title um, Space Islands, right? So there's these little bubbles that we're living in and um, we're enclosed. Um, I liked this. Um, these are um, basically kind of found object collage, old, um, old cuttings of magazines and um, combinations of this uh, infrastructure. And um, down here was um, out of an old art magazine, um, Tatlin uh, Constructionist Sculpture. And uh, I liked how it tied in with the picket fence, right? So you got this kind of chunk of, um, it reminded me of Long Island suburbia, right? So it's enclosed in this space. Um, it's kind of developed into maybe a heart shape or some kind of organ, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, going into this way, this was, um, right, playing with some different, um, objects and materials. Um, I like the randomness of, um, these bubble structures and, you know, it turns into this kind of fantasy structure, um, with these grapes and shells, maybe some kind of space vineyard, um, came to mind. Again, here's another space island. Um, I really like this idea of, um, you know, kind of salvaged parts or maybe um, things mined from asteroids and the structure built and then almost like a terrarium, things enclosed. Um, this again, kind of some feelings of um, the quarantine and wanting to protect children, protect my two, my two girls and um, kind of this idea of um, this, uh, this space, this um, kind of pastoral bubble and Here's one kind of in process, right? Um, Shell, um, the title kind of came to mind, working title is Hermit House. Um, this kind of, um, again, how we might be shut in and working toward um, our own inner development during this time. Seems like the, the thing to do. Um, I also want to mention, i um, got a couple websites. If you're interested in seeing more of my work, it's um, stelliosandmichelleart.com. 
and also um, we own an art school, um, Studio E Art class, where we teach drawing, painting, and ceramics to students um, of all ages on Long Island. Um, Bob Ross, kind of think of him as our patron saint of the basement um, basement studio. And right, so I'll work my way this way. Um, just different objects, kind of looking for an aesthetic, something along the lines of science fiction. And I like the randomness of just putting a lot of, um, sorting through a lot of images and just letting a story kind of emerge. This one right here, you know, uh, this kind of started off this from about five years ago. Title's Propagation and, um, right, just different themes of, um, right, growth, um, maybe, um, some along the lines of, uh, Paranoia of CRISPR and where, um, how children might be born in the future or, or altered. Um, again, child care, um, handing off our, um, our children to machinery more and more technology as an intermediary, um, you know, whether it's good or bad, I think it's just present and something that will continue to develop. Um, these were, um, a little weird, but, uh, it's a Rodin sculpture and, um, the idea is, um, markings of, uh, the Trappist, um, system and, uh, 40 um, light years away, and um, I don't know, just uh, different working themes. Um, let's see, let's work our way this way. Here is another kind of bubble space island um, structure that's emerging. I enjoy um, this combination of um, kind of chaotic or organic um, merging into some kind of form. Here's a um, found object uh, globe, which I'm turning into a painting. I like the idea also is playing with um, some ancient uh, canopic jars and different um, um, maybe preservatives, uh, like something like a fossil amber um, traveling. Um, that's my daughter, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. I want a chocolate egg. <laughs> okay, she wants a chocolate egg, then I will get that to her soon. Um, let's go through this. A couple more pictures, guys, and uh, really looking forward to seeing the other work of everyone. Thanks for putting this together, um, Beth and Patrick Arts Council. Um, it'll be exciting to see everyone's work and uh, happy to share also. Um, so, you know, this is basically my studio and working space at night when I'm not outside. Um, here's just some of those collage materials. I like to kind of um, sort through random things. Let story kind of emerge. And let's go one more pass through these things. All right. Great, guys. So um, see you soon, hopefully, when the quarantine is over. And uh, goodbye.